Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Tony with La Lida Loca, and I'm here to talk to you today about a hidden cost in cruising cell phone roaming. That's right, uh, man, there is story after story of people who uh, got hit with roaming fees while they were on their cruise vacation uh, in the thousands of dollars. All you have to do is a Google search for huge cell phone bill cruising and uh, yeah, the, just I got charged 1500 I got charged 2300 It's a, it, it's a real epidemic uh, out there and I wanted to bring you some information today that would help you uh, not be one of those news stories. Yeah, so uh, I don't want you guys to be victimized by cell phone roaming, so I'm going to go over today a little bit what airplane mode is, how to use it, uh, what you need to do to connect to the ship Wi-Fi, and close it out with a couple tips uh, so that your cruising vacation is not only fun, but hopefully uh, not costly in a way that you weren't expecting. All right, first, uh, the technical piece. Let's talk about what happens on a cell phone. There are three connections on a cell phone. Uh, number one is the connection to the cellular tower. This one's important. This is where the money charge comes from. Your phone calls go out this connection uh, and your data that's not uh, connected to Wi-Fi goes out this connection. And this is the connection that roams. Number one is your connection to the cell phone tower. Number two connection on your cell phone is Bluetooth. Now this is uh, primarily for devices when you pair with your car, when you pair with your headphones, uh, a, a variety of things, external speaker. This is how that connection happens. Those two devices talk to each other and uh, they make a connection through your Bluetooth. And then number three is your Wi-Fi connection. So this is the connection to like your at-home router or free public Wi-Fi hotspots at the local coffee shop. And, and of course, this is another way to get the internet where you're not using your data. So uh, three connections on the cell phone. You have the cellular connection, the Bluetooth connection, and the Wi-Fi connection. All right, so uh, you've probably heard when you go on a cruise ship, you should put your phone in airplane mode. This is good advice. And let me tell you real, uh, real quickly what airplane mode does. Airplane mode shuts down all three of those connections. Shuts down your cellular connection, so no roaming. Shuts down your Bluetooth connection, so you can't connect to another device. And it shuts down your Wi-Fi connection. So when you put your phone in airplane mode by pushing the button on your phone, you have essentially cut off all three of those connections to your cell phone. Which is good, because uh, roaming can't happen if your cellular connection is down. The only problem is uh, to use the ship's internet services, you have to be able to connect to it in some way. And the way that that is done is by turning on your Wi-Fi connection. So again, when you're on the cruise ship, you want to go into airplane mode, but then you have to go back and turn on your Wi-Fi. The main thing to remember here is don't ever turn on your cellular connection. Airplane mode is going to shut it off. And when you go to start turning other things on, you just want to make sure that you're not turning on your cellular connection. And I'm going to show you on iPhone how that looks. Uh, I, I don't have an Android phone here, so uh, you, you might have to look it up a little bit with Android. But it's good to get to know your phone. But the big idea is when you're on a cruise ship, make sure your cellular connection is turned off. That's where the charges come from. You don't want the charges. All right, so let's go to the phone. All right, here's my iPhone. Again, this is for iOS only. If you have an Android phone, uh, just do some research. The principle is the same. When you go into airplane mode, you're shutting off all your connections. And then at some point, you're going to need to turn your Wi-Fi on. That's what we're going to do here. But let me show you. All right. So when you swipe up from the bottom, it brings up the control panel. And if you look in the uh, upper left here, uh, you have the whole con connectivity box. Uh, the airplane mode is grayed out right now because we're not in airplane mode and so the airplane mode is represented by the airplane icon i think most people know that uh, and uh, to the right of it is the cellular connection icon uh, below the airplane mode icon is the wi-fi icon and then diagonal to the airplane mode is the bluetooth icon so now those are all illuminated they're all connected right now so watch what happens when i hit the airplane mode when I hit the airplane mode, it turns off my uh, cellular connection, it turns off my Wi-Fi connection, and it turns off my Bluetooth connection. This is really the state that you want to be in when you're cruising. Uh, you, you're not connected to anything. There's no potential for roaming. Nothing's going to connect to your device. You can still use the camera on your phone. You can still look at your pictures, but you cannot connect to anything. So that's no Facebook app, uh, no, uh, no playing any games that, are, that need the internet. All that stuff's turned off. Now the only challenge is when you want to use the ship Wi-Fi, it's not going to work. 
And so uh, what you have to do in airplane mode to use the ship Wi-Fi is you have to re-enable your Wi-Fi. So I just push the Wi-Fi button and you see that I'm in airplane mode with my Wi-Fi on. So there's no cellular connection, there's no Bluetooth connection, but the Wi-Fi is on. And now I can connect to the ship's Wi-Fi, which is important because if you want to use any of the Wi-Fi packages or the free uh, features that come with the ship's Wi-Fi, you have to be able to connect to it. So for me, this is how, when I'm cruising, this is, this is what it looks like for most of the time. Now, the only caveat is I get real concerned when I get off the ship. Uh, so I want to make sure I'll, I'll go back completely into airplane mode and turn off my Wi-Fi when I get off the ship so that my connectivity looks like this. But this is the main thing. You just, you, you just want to make sure that the cellular connectivity is off. That's where the roaming comes from. And so as long as your phone looks something like this, this is airplane mode with everything completely off or airplane mode with the Wi-Fi on, uh, you should be fine. So that's, uh, you know, and, and if you have an Android phone, you gotta go find out how to do this because it's super important to not be able to, to be charged. So the big takeaway, if you want no connectivity, airplane mode, all three connections are off. If you wanna be able to connect to the ship's Wi-Fi, airplane mode, and you have to be able to turn your Wi-Fi back on so you can make that connection. Just wanna provide one other tip. If you are traveling, make sure you contact your service provider. Tell them what location you're traveling to. There may be a package that helps cover some of the expense if you accidentally turn your phone on. Uh, you wanna check, I know there's calling plans in Mexico and uh, you know all kinds of different places. And so uh, check with your cell phone provider. But the big thing is, uh, just be super careful. I know I'm repeating the message over and over, but I would just hate for anybody out there to end up with a huge cell phone bill at the end of their cruise. So uh, hopefully that is helpful. Uh, please leave a comment uh, if, you, if, if you've had trouble with your cell phone before or any other tips that you might, or if you're an Android user, uh, maybe drop a, a picture or something in the comments that shows how to shut off the, uh, the go into airplane mode or shut off the Wi-Fi there. So let me ask you this. Uh, was the video helpful? If it was, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you join us. Join the Loca fam over at the La Lita Loca Cruising Community on Facebook. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe if you haven't yet. And until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Hey.